Mr. Slater has asked Richard to put on a magic show for the children. So, Sooty is performing. <laughs> I say, what do you think of this? This is my first pressing. It's a bluebell. But by the end of today, my book will be full of beautifully pressed flowers. I'm just going to pick some more. It's such a gorgeous day. <laughs> Now, boys and girls, the great magician Sooty will wave his magic wand and instantly his assistant, Bonini, will be free from the chains. So let's all say the spell. Here we go. Izzy Wizzy, let's get busy! <laughs> yes, very funny, very funny. Sooty, what's going on? There's something wrong with the magic wand. Oh, well, you better try again. <laughs> Sorry about that, everybody. <laughs> Sooty, what is going on? There's still something wrong with a magic wand. Oh dear. Sweet, you're going to have to stay like that for a minute. We better skip to the last trick. <laughs> Let's get rid of these. Yes, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, the last magic trick. <laughs> As you can see, the magician Sooty has an egg box with two eggs inside it. Now, I'm going to place the eggs inside my pocket and Sooty will wave his magic wand and the eggs will appear back inside the empty egg box. OK, so all say the spell. Here we go. Izzy Wizzy, let's get busy! And here's the... Hang on, where are the eggs? <laughs> At last, a full basket of flowers. <laughs> now I can press on. Get it? <laughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, hello. Hello. Look, we're looking for the show. Wondered if you could help us, because we heard Sooty is doing his magic today. And we love magic. Yeah, we do. Wait a minute. What? You're Paul Daniels and Debbie McGee, the famous magicians. Oh, Sooty will be so excited to meet you. Oh, and you're sure to like his show. Really? Not a lot, but you'll like it. <laughs> That's all I need, a funny little panda. Come on, little Sue, lead the way. This way, Paul. Thank you for your patience, ladies and gentlemen. And now, for the last time, the great Sooty will try to free his assistant Bonini from the chain. Say the spell, please. Izzy Wizzy, let's get busy! That's just brilliant! Sooty, what's going on? The wand's definitely broken. Oh, this is terrible. We're in the middle of a show. You'll do some repairs. Hey, not now, but what about Sweet? You'll be back in a jiffy. Back in a jiffy, no. Sooty, no. Oh, oh. oh, no. is doing his magic show. Oh, I wonder where he is. Won't be a tick. Come on, you two. We need to do the show. What are you up to? <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> I see you've fixed your one. <laughs> Can you change me back, please? Aha! Uh -huh. At last, here you are. Where's Richard? <laughs> He's checking out. Golly! Well, we need to get back to do the show. Everyone's waiting. Come on! Oi! Wait for me! Wait for me! So, boys and girls, please put your hands together for the world-famous magician, Sooty!
Fantastic. Wasn't that amazing, yeah? What? <laughs> you want me to do some magic? Yes! Oh, I don't know. What do you think, Debbie? Oh, what do you think, boys and girls? Yeah! All right, then. Hooray! Some magic. Hooray! I shall do some magic. I shall do some magic with this. A green handkerchief. Yeah. Yeah. No? No, I know, but I can't say red. Right, so what you do is you take your green handkerchief and you push it in there. Now, you need a magic word, something like an Izzy something or other. Um, yeah, oh, that's it, yes. And then you push it in like this. Now, you push it in. Look, it comes out the top and you tease and tantalise it. Now, there's something important about this trick. As you tease and tantalise this out of the top like that, you must keep your fist closed. Otherwise, they'll see the red one. Thank you. I thank you. Just throw money. What? Yes, I think now I'm ready to do some mind reading. Are you ready for mind reading? Yeah! Kiss me. All right. Kiss me. I shall read the mind of the pooch. That's you. Okay. Right. Concentrate. Make your mind blank. Oh, it already is. <laughs> Why don't we try Sue? Yes, try me. <laughs> All right then. My favourite wee panda. I shall read your mind. I am going back in time. I can see you collecting flowers. <gasps> yes. And and uh, petals and you're you're pressing <gasps> petals. You've got a book. That's right. You've got a book, but that's but there's, right. There's not much in it, is there? No, but you're absolutely right. That's amazing. <gasps> and is this that very book? <gasps> the book I use for my flower pressing. Flower pressing? Mm. Wow! Uh, not a lot. <laughs> <laughs> but perhaps I could use a little magic and help you. Ooh, what do you think? Oh, yes. Make all the pictures of the flowers come from your brain and into my book. With your book. All right. And we just go snap, snap. And look, there's all your flowers. Beautiful. Oh, thank you, Uncle Paul. Oh. Thank you so much. Just have a little kiss. Mm -hmm. What's that, City? Oh, your wand's been playing up a bit today. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, oh yeah. Ah, what's the matter with that? Oh, I see the problem. We just need to just tweak the end. <coughs> Give it a go. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Why, looky here, me hearties. Well, it ain't be Captain Sooty of the Seven Seas patrolling the waves at night, protecting us all from the dark forces that reside in Davy Jones's locker. But a vast there, what be this that the captain spies? Why, it be pirates, and the most fearsome pirate of all, the dreaded Captain Blackbeard. <laughs> 
Prepare to be boarded, he cried. <laughs> Captain Sooty stands firm. I will squirt you with my water pistol, our hero states. <laughs> no, you won't, said Blackbeard. Then it was as if the very forces of nature were unleashed. Is this the end for Captain Sooty? <laughs> Prepare for the worst, the scurvy knave cried. <laughs> Prepare for the worst, he cried again. Prepare for the worst! Prepare for the worst! Prepare for the worst! Prepare for the worst! Worst! Toast! 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 Toast? Sooty? Do you want any toast, Sooty? Oh dear, what is the matter? You've been dreaming about pirates again! Oh! Blackbeard Sweep was about to take over your ship! Oh, the scoundrel! Oh, I thought you were going to squirt me! <laughs> what did he do that for? He did that because he's been dreaming of pirates again! Ha ha! Ha ha! Oh! My down! <laughs> Boys! Ah, morning all. Now, I'm not quite sure what job I'll be doing today because... Ah! <laughs> what are you doing? Playing pirates? Ah! <laughs> Do I want to play? Uh, oh. Yes. No, I didn't mean yes, bone brain. Oh, Mr. Slater. No, no, you're not a bone brain. What's that? Will I uh, do your boating leg for you? Well, I'd certainly like that. <laughs> yes, I know it's wet work, Mr. Slater. But the man... yeah, yes, I'd certainly do that. It's... Oh, he's gone. Look, what's got into you two? <laughs> I do not want to play pirates, OK? Now go and play somewhere else. Oh. I've got to get to work. Hello there. Mr. Slater's squirty boats are certainly very, very busy today. Thanks for bringing my raincoat, Sue. That'll certainly come in handy if I get squirted again. Well, you do look a bit of a drip, Richard. <laughs> Hello, gang. Hey, what's all this about? You want to play pirates in your old toy boat? Oh, dear. It could do with a lick of paint and sails. Yes, I know. It doesn't look very seaworthy, does it? You know, it's very dangerous to get into a boat that looks like it might sink. You've got to clean it up and make it ship shape. <laughs> oh, well done, Sooty. That's the spirit. <laughs> Scrub and clean this boat for fix the leaks and make it float. We'll sail like pirates on the sea with our bravest captain, Sooty! La 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 la
I'll say, uh, Sooty! Oh, oh dear. I don't think Sooty's going to be very pleased with me. Oh. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, Sooty, I'm so sorry. Let me wipe you down. Come here, little fella. Oh, dear. <laughs> you know, you're taking this pirate thing really seriously, you know. Next thing, you'll be telling me that you've got a treasure map and a telescope. <laughs> he has. Oh, I see. Go on, then, where's your treasure map? Oh, let's have a look at it. A real treasure map. <laughs> Hang on a minute. This isn't a treasure map. This is your comic. <laughs> oh, I see. You want me to try the telescope, do you? All right, then. Here we go. Wow! You can see for miles with this thing. I ought to go and see what Sue's doing. Oh, good idea. Oh, hello, Sue. Hello, Richard. Oh, have you been fighting? No. So what are you doing? Oh, I'm just making the sail for Sooty's boat. Oh, that's wonderful. Well, can I help you? Oh, yes. Could you hold the material straight for me while I cut it, please? Certainly, Sue. That would be a pleasure. Oh. You see, Sue is very sensible. She waited for a grown-up to be here before she started using her scissors. She's such a clever little panda. Oh, thank you, Richard. Oh, I think I got a little bit carried away. <laughs> oh, hello, sweet. <laughs> have I been fighting? No, I have not been fighting. I've made your sails for the boat, Sooty. Let's put them up. Come on. Can I help you fix that hole? Well, of course I can. What do you want me to do? Hold the glue. All right. OK. Oh, careful. <laughs> yeah, I've got it. Go on. Oh, well, that's, I'd say that's more than fixed it, Sweep. Sweep, be, be careful with a brush. Oh, sweep! Get, sweep! Get! Get! Oh, God, get it off! Go. Oh, oh, ow! Cool. Oh! Customers! The sails are brilliant. Thank you. But I don't know where you're going to find any pirates to fight on a boating lake. What? Let's set sail right now and look for some. Well, how are we going to get our boat under the water? <gasps> Izzy! Izzy, Wizzy, let's get busy! Slice the main brace! Not that far, sweet! Whee! You bone brain! What's happened to our sail? A pirate? Sooty, there is a pirate off the starboard bow. Boat and sweep! Prepare the cannon! Fire! He's getting away! Quick! Call for backup, Sooty! Sooty, there was a pirate to fight. <laughs> bye bye, Richard. Oh, bye bye, everybody. Bye bye. One pound, please. Thank you very much. Get your sack. One pound, please. Are you don't get yours. Go on. Thank you very much. Come back. We'll see you this afternoon. Thank you so much. Uh, excuse me. Oh, hello, Officer Shuttleworth. Hello. Hello. Uh, where are you going with all that money? 
Oh, this! Oh, it's today's takings! Oh, yes it is. And it needs to be safely stored away, or you could become unwitting victims of crime. <coughs> There's reports of disaffected youths in the area, causing a disturbance. But I'm here to keep an eye out. Oh, don't worry, Officer Shuttleworth. As soon as we get home, we're locking this money straight into the cash box. Good thinking, young lady. Thank you, Officer. Yep, you're welcome. Cheerio, then. Bye. <coughs> Well, we have made lots of money today, boys. We certainly have, haven't we? How much money have you got there, Sue? Oh, uh, one, two, three, four pounds, Richard. Well, well, I've got one, two, three. So if we add three and four together... Uh, no, just leave them next to Sue's, because we need to add three and four together, and three and four... Make, uh, leave them next to Sue's. Three and... <laughs> Fooled you that time, didn't I, Smarty Pants? Leave them there. Well, we have had a good day, Richard. We certainly have. Do you know, Mr Slate is going to be really pleased when he comes back from holiday and sees how much money we've made. We need to put this somewhere really safe. Uh, hang on a minute. Where are the keys for Mr Slater's cash box? Uh, oh, no, I, I can't find the keys to the cash box. Check your pockets, Richard. All oh, right. I, I, get out of there, sweep! <laughs> it's no good. We've got to face facts. I've lost the keys for Mr Slater's cash box. <laughs> Ooh, sorry, sweep. What really worries me... Ow! <laughs> get out of there, sweep! Go on. He'll have to go, that dog. He really will. <laughs> They're not in my back pocket. I know that, sausage brain. Look, just put this money somewhere safe. Go on. See, what really worries me, Sue, is security. There's lots of money here. What we need is a burglar alarm system for this caravan, and we need it now. See what you can find on the internet, Sue. Right. Oh, it's a local firm. It says they give 24-hour service, and they're ready to respond at the click of a button. Bingo, ringo! Right, click the button, Sue. There. Oh, no. I might have guessed. It's you two, isn't it? Don't tell me. You're experts. Sooty security. You know, my alarm bells are already ringing. Right, let's get this straight. You two are going to fit an alarm system that means that nobody is going to get to this money. Oh, go on then. <laughs> hey, look, just be careful. What's that great big thing? <laughs> it's an alarm bell. Well, just be careful with it or you'll drop a clanger. <laughs> oh, this must be a really big alarm system. What are they up to? Wish they'd put me in the picture. Sooty, how much longer will this banging be going on for? Excuse me, Sooty, how much longer will the banging be going on for? Oi, Sooty, how much longer will that banging be going on for? Ah, oh, Sooty, stop the water! Stop the water! Ah, 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 ah. Oh, thank you very much, that's terrific! I'm soaking wet and I've got nothing to read now. Oh, oh, oh. oh thank you. Oh. The alarm system is now ready for demonstration. Eh? You've installed a complicated system of tripwires and traps designed to catch anyone that touches them. <gasps> wow! Well, come on then, let me see. <laughs> oh. Ah! Yeah. Sooty, turn it off! Turn it off! <laughs> oh, I see. You can only turn it off with that keypad. <laughs> That's very clever, I like it. Hang on a minute though, how are we going to avoid all these tripwires? Your assistant will now give us a demonstration, eh? Show us that again. Go on. 
Thanks to Sooty Security, the caravan is now fully protected. <laughs> what? Hey? In fact, everywhere is protected. What does that mean? Winkle! Yoo-hoo! Yes, he's got a carrot for her favourite little rabbit! Intruder alert! Intruder alert! <laughs> This is one of my favourite pastimes, making simple models. Oh. Intruder alert! Intruder oh. alert! Self-destruct oh. mode activated. Slater. Hello, Mr. Slater. Oh, yes, you'll be ever so pleased with the amount of money we made today. Oh, yes. Oh, no, don't worry. It's not in the cash box. I'm guarding the money personally. Oh, no, don't worry. The caravan is now fully alarmed. Uh, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, he's gone. Oh, oh well. Let's see what's on the telly. Hey. Going on. <gasps> I get it. Sooty and Sweep security cameras. I've got to sort this out. <laughs> I'll take this, thank you very much. Turn this alarm off once and for all. <laughs> we won't be needing this anymore. Thank you. Did anyone see me on the telly? <laughs> oh, turn it off! Turn it off! You would do if some buffoon hadn't stumped on the keypad. <gasps> Excuse me. Thank you. Oh. One, two, one, two. <clears throat> Come on up. Come on out. We've got the place surrounded. Give yourself up, lad. No, officer. It's not me you need. It's Sooty. <laughs> Sooty, eh? Hey? Well, now I'm all Sooty. Is this a joke? No. I have no... I have no choice but to take you into custody. Custard activated. Custard activated. Custard activated. Custard activated. Now then, man. This seems to be a very large amount of money you have about your person. No, no officer. Remember, you see, I lost the keys. Come on, lad. Hey? <laughs> You know, you're not painting a very good picture of yourself, lad. <laughs> you're right, Sooty. It looks like Richard has been caught red-handed. Bye-bye, <laughs> everybody. Bye-bye. Oh, hello. There. So clear. 
green. You can see your face in it. Oh, hello. Do you like our cup? It's the prize for the sports day competitions this afternoon. What was that, Sue? Oh, hello. I was just telling the boys and girls about the sports day. Oh, yes. Mr Slater's put me in charge this year. Oh. Oh, it's Mr Slater. Hello, Mr Slater. Yes, everything's here. Nothing will go wrong. If it does, I can have the sack. <laughs> I don't need a sack. I've already got one. <laughs> you mean I'll get the sack? Oh, I... oh, he's gone. Oh, dear. Hope everything goes well. Where are Sooty and Sweep? Oh, I think they're warming up at the gym. Oh. Sooty, I just thought I'd come and see how you were getting on. Where's Sweep? He just took off. Oh, that's a shame. So are you all ready for the competitions? You're going to win Easy Peasy Lemon Squeezy. <laughs> all right, Smarty Bunch. Come on, then, let's see your muscles. Uh... <laughs> come on, then, the other one. <laughs> Sooty, they're like peas in a pod. <laughs> what? You're going to get them really big with the chest expanders? Ooh, go on, then. Sooty, show us how it's done. Come on. Are you sure you can do this? Go on, have another go. Come on. Oh, Sooty, this is very difficult. This time, put all your effort into it. Come on, really let rip. Come on, come on. Brilliant, Sooty. Brilliant. One, two, one, two. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Slater Sports Day. Over to you, Sue. Thank you, Richard. That's right, boys and girls. Slater Sports Day is the sporting event of the year. Over to you, Richard. Thank you, Sue. Our expert athletes are now warming up for the first competition, which is called... Over to you, Sue. This is no yoke. It's the egg and spoon race. Over to you, Richard. Thank you, Sue. Sack for you. Thank you. Here's one for you. Thank you. Good girl. Here's one for Thank you. Thank you. And here's one for you. Thank you. And one each for Sooty and Sweep. There you go. Yes. How do you do a sack race? <laughs> oh, it's easy. In fact, you're talking to a sack race expert, actually. What? Show you. Well, all right. Then look, it's simple. You just get both feet and put them right inside the sack like this. Very important to pull the sack right up so you're right inside it. Just like this, you see? What? Hey, it's all gone dark. Where's the door? Take your places. Hello? Get set. Go! What's going on? Let me out. I can't see where I'm going. Shutty. Oh. And our canine contestant, Sweet Cat, taken the lead. This is incredible. Richard has well and 
truly got the sack! Oh, uh, 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 hello, yes, Mr. Slater. Yes, everything's going very well. Bye bye! Help! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Richard, your sack must have somehow tied itself into a knot. I don't understand this, Sue. It's never done that before. Well, actually, Sooty did it. It was very silly of him. You could have hurt yourself. Uh, excuse me. Boys and girls, it's time for the event you've all been waiting for. The grand final of Slater's Sports Day. The Long Jump. Will the two finalists take their places in the jumping arena? <laughs> now, boys, before we can start the final competition, here are the rules. Now, we need two markers for this. The first marker is where you start the jump, and we'll put the second marker down where you finish the jump. <laughs> then we'll measure the distance between the two, and whoever's jumped the furthest will be the winner! <laughs> right, who's going to jump first? You both can't jump at the same time, can you? We'll let Sooty go first because he won the first race! Yeah. Off you go, Sooty! Yeah. Wow, that was excellent, wasn't it? Right, let's measure it. We could have a record on our hands there. That was definitely the landing point. Here we go then, Sooty. Let's see, we've got... Wow, it's 60 centimetres! And a record jump from Chucky there! Yes? Your turn now. Oh, all right then. You're an expert. Oh, he's an expert, ladies and gentlemen. OK, sweet. Your turn. Are you sure you're an expert? Okay. Well, let's measure it anyway. You can help measure it if you want. Let's put the marker in first. That's where you landed, wasn't it? OK, you can hold the tape measure. <laughs> Go on, up. put it at the starting thing. I don't think we're in for any record breaking today. Let's measure it, Sooty. Wow! It's 80 centimetres! 80 cent... Hey, sausage brain, let go of it. Go on. Come here. He's going to have to go, that dog. Move out of the way. Come on, let's measure it properly. Let's have a look. <laughs> it's 16 centimetres! Yes? Can you have another go? I don't, should we give him one more go, everybody? Yes? All right, then one more go. But this time, sweet, take a really good run at it. You got it? A run. Yeah, well, go on, whenever you're ready, then. Really good run. Sooty, dig him out. <laughs> Welcome back, Sweet. That was pretty good. Right. Yes, we'll measure it. We'll measure it. I know it's there. I got it. Right. Okay. Here we go, then, everybody. Let's find out what it was, and we've got to. <gasps> 60 centimetres, which means it's a draw! And so, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I can announce the joint winners of Slater's Sports Day. And the prize goes to Sooty and Sweep! Over to you, Richard. Thank you, Sue. Yes, come on, boys, take a bow! <laughs> oh dear, it looks like Richard's making a prize fool of himself! <laughs> bye bye, everybody. Uh... Bye bye. Oh, hello there.
there. Now, will you boys play safely, please? Mr. Slater has put me in charge of the playground today, and I don't want any accidents, OK? <laughs> accidents like that! Good. Whee! Oh, dear. Poor Sue. Are you feeling any better? Well, I'd be feeling fine, Richard, if I didn't have to live with these pesky boys. Yes, it was all rather silly, wasn't it? Mm. You're sorry? Oh, don't worry. I'll soon be better. Well, seeing as Sue is poorly, you two boys can come with me through to the kitchen and we'll cook something nice to cheer Sue up. Do I have to stay here, Richard? Yes, of course, Sue. You need to stay in bed and look after your poorly foot. Oh, Richard! Come on, Sue. Don't be a moaning mini. We're going to take very good care of you. Come on, boys. <laughs> what should we cook? I don't know. Why don't we make Sue a lovely cake? I wonder what flavour she'd like. Bone. Um, excuse me, I've told you before, Sweep, about bringing your dirty old bones into the kitchen, so go on, get rid of it. <laughs> yes, get rid of it. Go on. Yeah, get rid of it. Get rid of it! Right, what should we do then, Sooty? What should we... Fetch the mixing bowl, that's a good idea. It's going to be a lovely cake for Sue, this... Uh... <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't resist that. <laughs> Right, then, what are we going to put in this mixing bowl? What? Eggs, flour, milk and sugar. Oh, that sounds like a lovely mixture. Come on, then, get busy. Eggs, flour, milk and sugar. Oh, there's the flour. There's the egg. Oh, I'll pop it in there. Not with the shell on. Oh. OK, look, I'll put in the sugar, you put in the flour. Here we go, then. There we are. That should do it. Lovely. Oh. Good. Richard! That's Sue calling. Come on. Richard! Don't worry, Sue. We're here. We're here. Now, what's the problem? Oh, I just wondered if I could have a glass of orange juice. Oh, well, of course you can, Sue. Sooty, go and get Sue a glass of orange juice, please. Oh, how much longer do I have to stay here? Until your leg is better, Sue. Thank you, Sooty. Well done. You can enjoy that now. Oh, thank you. Please, can I come and help you? I'm fed up with just lying here. Don't be a moaning mini, Sue. We've got everything under control. Come on, Sooty. <sighs> right, oh, Sooty, now where were we? We need to put the milk in. That's a good idea. Go and get the milk. You know, this cake's going to be lovely for Sue. A little bit gritty with the eggshell, but I'm sure that... Excuse me, you're not supposed to drink it. Oh! Give me the milk, let's put it in the bowl. There we are. Right, give it a good stir. Do you know, I think this is turning out really well, Sooty. I... Hang on a minute. What's that noise? Ah. Now, what are we going to do about this bone of his? What? <laughs> Throw it down the plug hole. <laughs> yes, down the plug hole. Go on, wash it away. Right, that's got rid of it. It's down the plug hole. Yes, down the plug hole. Come on, Sooty, let's put this cake in the oven. Yes, down the plug hole. Down the plug hole! Oh, be quiet! Oh, that, that's Sue calling. We'd better see what she wants. Be coming, Sue! Can I have a biscuit to help me pass the time? Biscuit? No problem. Sooty, you see you're in very good hands, Sue. Oh, thank you, Sooty. Oh, uh, could you put it down over here, please? Uh, no, no, put it on the other side, please. No, I've changed my mind. Ow! Hang on, what's that noise? Sounds like it's coming from the kitchen. Uh-oh, you're right, it does. Uh, we won't be long, Sue. Come on, Sooty, quick. Oh, oh, oh! Sweet, 
What are you doing? You're trying to get your bone back, but you can't. It's gone now. Oh, you've probably gone and broken the taps. Let's have a look. Turn it on, Sooty. Oh, no! Sooty, look! There's water coming out everywhere! Oh, oh, turn it off! Turn it off! Oh, sweep, you sausage brain! Look what you've done! We're going to have to get a plumber in to fix it. What's that, Sooty? You can fix it. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, oh dear. Now we're in trouble. Go on, then. Try it. Turn on the tap. Turn it off! Well, it's not supposed to do that, is it? Hang on a minute. Now, where's the pepper? There was a pepper pot here earlier. I'm sure there was. Where's it gone? Down the plug hole. Oh, oh no. No, 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 no. Don't start sneezing. Don't start sneezing. Ooh. Yeah, all right. I'm, I'm coming, Sue. Are you all right, Sue? Oh, yes. I was just wondering if I could have my comic to read in bed. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course, no problem. Sweep, could you get Sue's comic for her, please? There we go, Sue, your favourite comic. Now, can we get you anything else? Oh, no thanks, Richard. I must say, though, <laughs> it's really nice having everyone make a fuss of me. <laughs> <gasps> oh, no, Sooty, what on earth's happened? Oh, look at you. What? You slipped on a banana skin and broke your leg? What? Oh, well, quickly, get into bed, then. Broke his leg on a banana skin. Quickly, jump in. There you go. Oh, let me take that off you. Look at that. Come on, put your poorly leg up here. Oh, look at this. Now, is there anything I can get for you, Sooty? Uh, what's that? A cup of tea. All right, I'll certainly get you a cup of tea. That's a... Sorry? And some biscuits. Oh, OK. I'll get you biscuits and a cup of tea. Biscuits and a cup... Something else. What's that? Your laptop. Is there anything else I can get for you? You'll let me know. Well, thank you very much. What was that? Oh, sweet! Oh, look at you! What's happened? You've broken your leg, not you as well. Let's take that off you then. Well, you're going to have to get straight into bed as well. Right this second, and we'll look after you, don't worry. Broken his leg. Oh, here it is. Now tell me, does it hurt, sweet? There, does it... Oh, it hurts. What about these paws? Does that hurt? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. He's really hurting here. What about this head? No? The head... Right. Can you have cake and a chocolate milkshake? Hey, what's that? You'll have one of those too, and you want yours first because you're more poorly than sweep. Oh, I see. So I've got three poorly patients now, have I? Oh, no, you haven't. Look, I'm completely recovered. Oh, well, that's great to hear, Sue, because... It sounds like your cake is ready. Ooh. It's just such a shame that the boys will be too ill to come with us to eat some. <laughs> You're better now. Oh, well, that's a miracle, isn't it? My flabber is ghasted. In fact, my flabber's never been so ghasted. Ho, 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 ho. Oh. That cake was delicious, Richard. Though a bit on the crunchy side. Anyway, I'm glad Sooty and Sweep have made such a swift recovery. <laughs> yes, indeed. Anyway, time to get back to work, but not before I join my favourite panda for a spot of roller skating. <laughs> what do you reckon, Sue? Oh, I think it's a smashing idea. I'm so glad to be out of bed. Yes, and you won't be going back there if you just copy me. I don't like to brag, but I am somewhat of a roller skating expert. Geronimo! But I only crunched my finger. Oh, don't you think you've rather overdone it with the bandages, Sooty? Richard, you need to stay there until you're better, and that's that. Come on, boys, who wants some more crunchy cake? 
Oh, oh, in such a moaning mini. <laughs> bye bye, everybody. Bye bye. Do, 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 do. Oh, hello, everybody. Sooty, you need to get a move on with those side bridges. We're leaving in a minute. Um, what flavour's that, Sooty? Cheese and chocolate? Oh, that's different. Why have you done that? Because they're Richard's favourite foods. Yes, but not together. Sweep, have you got the spoons? Oh, no, pick those up. One of these boys, please stop messing about. Mr. Slater doesn't give me a day off very often, so let's enjoy it. When you promised you'd take me for a drive in the country, I was expecting kindness and calm and not silliness, so no more silliness. Thank you, because I'm really going to enjoy today. Oh, so am I. Remember the last time we went on an outing? It was brilliant. Yes, it certainly was. So let's go riding with Sooty Sweep and Sue. There's nothing so good as the fresh country air. You may even make some new friends while you're there. Running and hiding are games we can play. Out in the country is where we will stay. On such a wonderful day. Let's all go driving in the country. We'll have lots of fun, see all of the things that we will do So let's go riding with Sooty Sweep and Sue So let's make today's outing even better! <laughs> Sooty, go and get the camper van and we'll soon be ready for off And I'll go and get a deck chair for the picnic! Right, Sweep, checklist, spoons! No. Squash. Squash. Sweet. Squash. Oh, oh, sweet. Not that sort of squash. Oh, let me out. Hurry up, you two. Now, where is Sooty? <laughs> You were covered in mud? Actually, Sue, I did. Thank you. <laughs> Come on, let's get everything loaded. Uh, what have you got there? Well, you never know what you might need on a day out. Sue, what have you packed this for? Oh, well, I wasn't too sure what to wear. So I thought I'd make up my mind when we got there. Oh, why have you bought this lamp? I can't get changed in the dark. Oh, you may as well have packed up the kitchen sink. <laughs> Let's go! Stop revving the engine, Sooty! Bye! Bye. 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 Ah, this is the life, the open road, a chance to get away from it all with a drive in the country. To sit on a deck chair with a full picnic camper. Hang on a minute! Sooty! We've forgotten all the stuff! Reverse! <laughs> oh, 
Right, I'm going to hook up the trailer and uh, pack the picnic. Uh, what's all this? Yes, well, we need some games to play after the picnic. Well, what's the matter with good old-fashioned hide-and-seek? It's good old-fashioned. That's what. Load up, boys. Off we go again. This is the life, the open road, a chance to get away from it all, a drive in the country, the wind in my hair, the beeping in my ears. Hang on a minute, what is that beeping in my ears? We've run out of petrol! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh. 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 Come on, Richard, put your back into it. <laughs> this is turning into a disaster. Oh, hello. You can fix it. Oh, he can fix it with a magic wand. All right, then, here we go. Izzy Wizzy, let's get busy. Uh, what do we need this for? In case it rains, of course. Oh. oh. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Hurry up, Richard. <laughs> All right, where do we go? Bye. Bye. Stop revving the engine, Sooty. We've got a puncture. Everybody out. Come on, Sue, let's go and get the spare tyre. Crack on with it and change the tyre. Oh, you're strong, oh, Sue. Here's the spare, Sooty. Got it. Oh, what? nice job, Sooty. What did you do with the punchy dinner tube? <laughs> <laughs> For the last time, Sooty, stop revving the engine! <laughs> Bye. Stop revving the engine, Sooty! I told you to stop revving the engine. Look what you've done now. You've blown it up. Oh. Well, Sooty, you promised me a drive out into the country. A day when I could get away from the park. And thanks to you, we haven't got past the garden gate. What's that? Why don't we stay here? Oh, yes. Why not? You can sit on your deck chair and relax. We've made sandwiches and everything. Oh, you mean have a picnic in our garden? Oh, that's not such a bad idea. Yes, come on. Let's make the best of it. It could be worse. It could be raining. <laughs> oh, it is. Quick, it's raining. Quick, take cover. Take cover. <laughs> oh, poor Richard. Sandwich, anyone? Come on! Yeah! <laughs> Help yourselves, boys and girls. That's right. One each. There we are. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.